All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Pirate Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. Okay, so here we go with another review. Again, thank you to our buddy Andrew Hobbard for sending along the Microtech Stitch, Stitch Ramlock. I almost said MSI. This is not the MSI, this is the Stitch uh, Ramlock in Tan G10. Uh, I, okay, so I'm gonna start off with a bit of a frustration. Um, Microtech is playing games with these and I don't really like it. They're putting these out in little spurts and now they've even put out like a, uh, a frag G10 version. The frag G10 versions uh, are out of stock, but were like $425 at Blade HQ with frag titanium. Um, I think Andrew paid less than 300 for this, if I remember from Microtech's site. They're not available there. Um, there's been little spurts of them here at dealers a little bit at a time. Uh, I think the last known price I've seen these at at a dealer is like 300 or 325. Um, this is the Ramlock, so the the not assist, not auto version. I almost said assisted. Um, and a great, great overall design. Uh, ergonomically, it's a big knife, but it's a great knife ergonomically. You've got this, uh, and you can see my auto stitch review and just copy and paste, I'm sure. Uh, but you've got this great uh, harpoon area here with good jimping. Same thing, good jimping here. You just come up here. Now you have a lot of knife left over, but I don't care. And you got four four fingers uh, back here. Man, my, my phone is going berserk, but we're going to ignore that. Um, it feels good either way you do it. Now this blade is incredibly unique um, to me, and it is pokey. Uh, you can see there, I I'm, I'm obviously cannot hold this cardboard uh, very still, and you can see I can pierce that very easily. Um, I'm doing the cutting now because in my first review doing on camera and then at the table, I forgot to cut with it. Um, and by the way, uh, we'll just do that here as a follow-up. Uh, this is the Null Knives Raiden. This was the first one I did. And yes, it cuts very, very well. And I forgot to do cutting in that review, and I'm sorry, uh, but it cuts very, very well. Uh, the Ramlock Stitch, you guys know, this blade is is not very big, but this is a destroyer. Um, I am not kidding, man. This thing, I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, so much fun. Just a destroyer. And again, you can see we easily pierce. Just, I mean, it is, it is a fantastic knife. Just as a knife. Um, now, you got the Ramlock, so you got the same... Uh, as we had with the MSI, these the, the, the buttons on the outside, it's not a button, I can't think of the right word, but the actual, uh, the end of the bar lock, um, and there's a fly in here, okay, fine. You got a uh, backspacer here, which I believe is titanium, very nicely done with some jimping, and just a cool overall looking knife. Now, the pocket clip to me is not my favorite. You have quite a bit sticking out, which I'm okay with, but this kind of flat boring clip with Microtech and all kinds of stuff written all over it. Uh, yeah, come on. Uh, this is a $300 plus knife at this point. I don't need, I, I know guys, I, I know, uh, this big Microtech logo on the blade and then all kinds of, I mean, let me put on my glasses and just read this novel to you. Um, it says Stitch Ramlock, serial number uh, 774, 04 2023 and Microtech. All that is on the clip. Um, I, I don't I, I don't need that. I do like that the clip is inset into uh, the scales and you do have um, rounded screws, but they're on the outside, so I don't care. It is not reversible carry wise. Um, clip is good. It comes in and out of the pocket fine. Um, and you know, let's just, you, yeah. So you feel this part that goes up because it doesn't go back down. You feel that in the palm of your hand a little, but it is not a hot spot. Again, I think ergonomically, this is a good knife. It's a big knife. So if you don't like big knives, you might not like it. Uh, you have um, partial liners in there, just up here where your uh, ramlock is. Um, 
And you know, okay, so let's talk au auction. Auction, the auction. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, with the thumb, uh, okay, see? With the, the springs are just kind of strong. So you gotta mean it and really get it out there. I cannot, let's do, I'll probably do it now. I cannot middle finger flick this knife. Nope. Hold on, let me try it down here. Nope, I cannot. So I can thumb open it. And again, you can see there, it drops down. That part's not a problem. You can flick it open like that. Uh, good and centered there, you can see. Man, locked up like a, I mean, this thing is so locked up. I, you know, every, every once in a while, I have a tiny bit of movement. And I'll still be like, you know what? That's not lock blade play, but there is no play. Zero play, we're not playing. Uh, like I said, dead centered, very, very nice. And again, just a material eater. Um, if you just want your Sunday or whatever day you do trash day, break down boxes knife, uh, that is your knife. Uh, very, very nice. Now, again, not going to be the most fidgety in the world, but I think this is kind of meant to be a work knife. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, and it's, you know what, it's a good looking knife to me. Um, and, and the downturn of the blade allows you to really get down into material. And I like that. All right, let's go on the table and finish this up. Okay, so as I said, I'm not finding one of these in stock, but I'm reading off of a listing on Blade HQ. This is the Ramlock Microtech Stitch 3.7 inch uh, stonewash. Um, you know what, that is not going to be accurate because that is the carbon fiber version. Uh, but I'm just having such a hard time finding it. All right, tell you what, we're going to read off of the um, the tan frag one because it should be pretty close specs-wise. 8.5 inches overall, uh, 3.75 inch blade. But again, you can see your cutting edge is smaller than that. Did it give me that? Yeah, 3 inches cutting edge. Uh, 0.19 on the blade thickness, guys. This is that's what I was saying. For such a thick beast, uh, this guy comes down. You've got a fairly high flat grind. You've got this great swedge that allows you to penetrate material uh, fantastically. Um, flat grind, worn cliff blade. Bowler M390 MK is your steel, which is the Microtech uh, Bowler M390. The weight is 5.8, but again, for the size knife, an eight and a half inch knife, I am not bothered by that at all. It feels fine to me. Carried fine. I carried it several times, a couple of times um, while it was here. Crossbar lock, of course, a ram lock, made in the USA. Uh, G10 on the material there. The handle thickness is 0.62. So again, it's a thick. Guy, we'll do that in our comparisons here. Now, again, I would love to tell you where to get one of these. They're not in stock. The best I can tell you is to go to Microtech. They do regular weekly gear, gear drops. Go check, and when they have one, you can get one. You can also look on, um, you know, the secondary, and um, you uh, can also look at dealers from time to time, but you better be prepared to get one and move on because, uh, uh, they go very quickly. So you can see the Rat 2 is very much smaller. The Rat 1 is about the same length, but it is taller. Now let's use this, the Rat uh, 1, to do a thickness. Now you can see uh, the Rat 1 is not a skinny knife, but the, uh, the stitch is much, much thicker. So you can see that there. So what do you guys think of this one? Let me know. I will be very interested to hear your thoughts on this one. Uh, I loved the auto one, but I like this one way better because I just don't care for an auto knife that much. Out the side auto, that is. Um, so let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and a comment down below and all the things. Thanks for watching. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And Andrew, thank you again for sending this one along. And thanks to you guys for watching the Knives Fast channel.